All right, so here in this video, I'll be showing you how to install Skyrim Special Edition Script Extender, also known as SKSE 64 for Skyrim Special Edition. Again, I want to clarify that this video is for the Skyrim Special Edition, not for the original classic version of Skyrim and not for Skyrim VR. So now to start off, you want to go to skse.silverlock.org and I want to quickly explain the most complicated parts of this entire video. There are going to be three different versions of Skyrim Script Extender that you see on this same page because the classic version, the SE version, and the VR version are all on the same page. Today, we're going to be installing the current SE build as you see on screen. So now that we know that we are installing the current SE builds, all you want to do is go to the end of that line where it shows the 7Z archive and click on it. And that will ask you to then save it to your PC. I suggest going to your downloads folder and then clicking save. In your downloads folder, you should now see an SKSE 64 7z archive. You will need 7-zip for this next step. Once you have 7-zip installed and set up correctly, all you have to do is click on the archive to ensure that it's highlighted, right click, and go down to the 7-zip context menu as you see on screen, and go to extract to SKSE 64. Once you click that, it will then extract it into its own separate folder as you see on screen, and we can go ahead and open that up. Now leaving this folder open, we want to then open up our Steam, find Skyrim Special Edition in our Steam library, right click on it, go to Properties, go to the Local Files tab, and go to Browse Local Files. This will bring you into the Skyrim Special Edition directory, as you see on screen, which has the data folder, a Skyrim SE executable, as well as the Skyrim SE launcher. So now with the SKSE 64 and the Skyrim Special Edition directories opened, all we want to do is highlight all the SKSE 64 files and drag them over to the Skyrim SE directory below all the other files and folders so that it merges with everything in the Skyrim Special Edition directory. If it asks you to overwrite anything, just go ahead and click yes. And now SKSE 64 is installed. However, there is one thing that you need to note, and that is from here on out, you are gonna need to launch the game through the SKSE 64 loader. You're gonna have to do this every single time. Now, just to ensure that SKSE 64 is indeed working, all we wanna do is launch the game through the SKSE 64 loader. And now that we're on the main menu, we wanna go ahead and open up the console with the tilde key. In the console, you wanna type in get SKSE version with no spaces and hit enter. This will then provide the SKSE 64 version, the release ID and the runtime. If you do not see that message, you have installed SKSE 64 incorrectly. And I suggest running through this video one more time. And if you continue having problems after that, please let me know down in the comment section below so that I can help you as soon as possible. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button down below. Subscribe to Only Good Fight if you haven't already and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.